Yeah, yeah, man. It's the homie hood legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in battle rap. You got Tay Rock versus Big K that's going down on King of the Dot Massacre 6. This is crazy. All that URL loyalty shit is out the door. You know what I'm saying? Like when Caffeine packed up the bags in the studio and they left, it seemed like the URL gave Tay Rock his walking papers, man, and made him a free agent. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. Do you think we could have ever seen Sue Surf grace another stage besides the you besides the URL as far as like him being on King of the Dot or Surf being on RBE? Like that's crazy, bro. Because uh, the URL ain't throwing as many events as they used to normally throw. Like when Caffeine was around, these niggas had an event every other week. You know what I'm saying? It was big battles being thrown on these little cars, just like it just didn't mean anything till they ran out of matches. Now it's just like, you know what I'm saying? They can't throw events back to back to back to back because for one, they don't have a lot of sponsors like that. You got sponsors packing up, leaving town, a lot of things is going on, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't throwing as many events as they normally was, you know what I'm saying? You got Smack out here trying to team up with like French Montana and do like go back into entertainment. So Smack has kind of got like one foot out the door battle rap already. That's why it's like, yo, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? He in the studio with uh, Boss Man D-Lo and French Montana. Smack is like, he really ain't too much on the side of battle rap of caring like that. Niggas disrespecting him. You know what I'm saying? The, he paying the battle his money, giving them the big bags. When the investors around, they running off with the bread, coming out here with these crazy performances. So it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things is going on in battle rap. You might see a battler on a, a league that he'd never been on before, but that's just the temperature of battle rap right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Tay Rock is over there, King of the Dot. I never thought I'd see this day. You know what I'm saying? He was always talking trash about other leagues and saying that, yo, it's URL for life. URL forever. Now look. Now look, this year, Rock has graced cartel stage. Rock has been on the riot. John, like, he has been on John John League, bullpen. Like, Tate Rock has been everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Now he's over there at King of the Dot. Only stage that Tate Rock ain't go grace this year is probably RBE. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you going to be on the full circle? Because he done been everywhere else. He done been to every other league. Are you going to do a full circle this year? You know what I'm saying? But I, I probably don't see that, but... Tate Rock has, like, just been all all around, bro. But this could be a good battle, potentially, for him to go on, to keep his champion of the year run steam going. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of times do a battler get the chance to have a year like Rock is having, especially with him battling low-tier, mid-tier, top-tier guys. And this kind of, like, is, like, the champion of the year from last year. Big K is a threat. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep it real. He has been coming in there, and he's been having, like, rounds that was kind of like longer because like pause a lot of niggas used to criticize big k because he would come in there and his rounds would be two minutes 230 he would follow those guidelines of the time limits to a t and he would not go over you know what i'm saying it's like his crowd reaction wouldn't even make his rounds three minutes he's it'll still be a short ass round you know what i'm saying but with him coming in there and I think it started around when he, like, was, like, that year when he battled A. Ward and Mook. And he had no, he knew he had to step his rounds up. He knew it because coming in there with short rounds against Mook and A. Ward, that was not going to win you the battles, especially going against a rebuttal in A. Ward and a, 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 a marksman like Mook when he come in there and he can rap 25, 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So Big K has kind of, like, stepped his rounds up as far as like the, the length of his rounds and going in there and he's kind of like an angler you know what i'm saying he can go in there he can kind of angle you he's top five angler in the game right now i'm gonna keep it real so rock what you gotta do is you gotta go in there and you gotta make sure that you treat this like a url battle even though it's not a url battle you gotta make sure you go in there you treat this like a url battle because this is it's gonna be that URL field, but it's gonna be on another stage besides the URL. You know what I'm saying? So you still gotta go in there and you gotta put on. You know what I'm saying? Like I know you like are, are very known for just second rounds. You gotta have one of those second rounds that undeniable rock second rounds. You gotta have a crazy first round. You gotta set the tone in this battle because Big K go come out there. He go, you know he go go at caution. You know he go have some caution bars. You know he go come at you about the the Fred angle and you know he go try to come at you about all the the stuff that's surrounding it you know what i'm saying like the cave gang all this that and the third and the ab leaving he's gonna come at you with a, a lot of that stuff bro 
come at you with the dot mob stuff with Rex, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you better be prepared. So already kind of like counter right, if that makes sense, you know, kind of going into this battle. But I know Rock already gonna have some crazy stuff for Big K. He gonna have the K, you know, the, he gonna have the Big K lines. He gonna flip the hell out of Big K name. Big K, you better be ready. Cause Rock is gonna go out there and he gonna flip your name a thousand times. The Big K and the Big K, like, so you better get ready. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a crazy battle, but it's like this this event is shaping up to be some fire. You know, I never thought Rock would actually go over there and grace that stage over there at King of the Dot. But when it comes to money and it comes to taking care of your family, and this is kind of like Rock's like full-time job. A lot of these battlers don't have like jobs as far as like outside of battle rap they kind of like lean on battle rap to kind of like take care of their needs and pay their bills and you know what i'm saying that's why they kind of like you know what i'm saying they depend on that bag and they have to keep battling and battling and battling because if you have a slow year and you ain't battling that much guess what your bills is piling up guess what you know what i'm saying they ain't looking too good your bank account ain't looking too good you know what i'm saying and then let alone you know what I'm saying? When they get paid the bag to actually, you know, battle, they actually get to travel also. So that's part of their job too. They get to travel. You know what I'm saying? I know I know writing the rounds is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? It takes time away. But when you actually get to travel, you know what I'm saying? Then battle, you know what I'm saying? For nine minutes and get paid thousands of dollars, you know what I'm saying? That's got to be a great feeling. So, you know what I'm saying? These guys kind of just depend on battle rap to kind of like pay their bills. A lot of them do that, you know what I'm saying? They just have their eggs all in one basket. But you also have to make sure that when you're writing these rounds for Big K, that they are captivated. They are, like, direct at him, you know what I'm saying? You got to bring the kind of, like, the old rock back with the big hats and all this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like Tay Rock going to come out here, he going to have a pretty good battle. And Big K, he going to come out there, he going to have a pretty good battle. Let's not forget what Big K has done in this game. This nigga ended somebody's career, bro. This nigga ended somebody's career. Audi boom. This nigga passed out the paperwork and he angled this nigga out of battle rap. That was one of the biggest stories in battle rap ever. He got round of the year that year. Like, and all that body bag of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga strictly body bag Big K, bro. Have y'all niggas forgot? Y'all forgot? I haven't. You know what I'm saying? That was a crazy, crazy battle. You know what I'm saying? You go back and you look at that battle, bro. It's just like, yo, I think that made World Star and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, like, Big K went viral. That was a viral moment. You know what I'm saying? That was one of his biggest moments, if not his biggest moment in battle rap. Let's not forget that. You know what I'm saying? This nigga bodied Adi Boom. For real, bro. Ran him out of battle rap. And that was ARP, like, people. That was his ARP man's. You know what I'm saying? But when Big K exposed the paperwork and he came in there, he angled it just right. And, and everybody in the battle rap community started looking to it and look and read and all this, that, and the third, bro. That was crazy. It got him up out of here. And that was a crazy angle from Big K. So that note, that, like, lets me know. And, like, Rock, that should let you know that Big K can actually come out there and he can actually win this, this battle. You know what I'm saying? And King of the Dot is kind of like Big K's lane, you know what I'm saying? Like, white dude, you know what I'm saying? Big, like, King of the Dot, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, that's kind of his lane. He battled over there before. He battles over there, you know what I'm saying? So, you got to look at that also, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's kind of like a home game for Big K and an away game for Rock, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. This is just going to be a crazy, crazy battle. Rock is on King of the Dot, bro. I never thought I'd see this. What? That is crazy, man. That would be crazy. I wonder what Surf, Surf got to say about this. Would Surf, would Surf come over here? I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know if Surf would go over there to King of the Dot. That's crazy, though. But this is going to be a good matchup, bro. This is going to be a good matchup. Main event type shit. You know what I'm saying? Then they also got like, I think it's like T-Rex and Chilla Jones on this car. It's going to be pretty fire. It's going to be pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? Pretty, pretty, pretty fire. It should be like like one of the uh, uh, the good events of the summer. You know what I'm saying? You got Easy to Block Captain. He actually got his little event coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like with him and Ill Will headlining on that car. You know what I'm saying? So... That's going to be a pretty good fire car for kind of the summer, you know what I'm saying? It's coming up within the two weeks, support the easy, you know what I'm saying? But easy, easy actually need to do some like, 
like like ticket giveaways and like pay-per-view giveaways to kind of promote like what is going on with the promotion for this for this like event that's coming up you know what i'm saying like you gotta like a lot of like big battles on this card like you need to do like some trenches trivia or something to kind of like give away tickets have like it's the trenches anniversary card right so you should do like some trenches trivia to kind of like you know, get the fans engaged, kind of like to start promoting towards this, you know what I'm saying, event that you got coming up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, it's go time. It's in the next two weeks. You got to get the fans engaged to kind of like buy these tickets. You know what I'm saying? So, you got easy coming up. Then after that, it's going to be this, this King of the Dot event, which the first two uh, battles on this card that's announced was Tay Rock versus Big K, which is fire. You know what I'm saying? You cannot deny that. Then you got uh, T-Rex versus Chilla Jones. That's also fire, you know what I'm saying? So, with all that being said, man, this, like, should be a good, good, good event, man. Like, Battle Rap has been real slow this year. Like, people are throwing events, then they, like, chill for two or three months, throw another event, chill for two or three months, throw another event. And, like, you got to talk about the drama, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but back and forth, bittering back and forth, like, bickering back and forth, going around. Hitman and Mook, uh, Hitman and Verb was the only thing that, that was really going on in Battle Rap besides the dot and bad news. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, it really wasn't a lot popping. You know what I'm saying? But make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, hit that like button, man. All of that is free. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's the homie hood legend. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time, I'm out.